Have you ever wondered why some men effortlessly attract women while others struggle to even get noticed? It's not about looks or money. It's about something deeper, something more profound. In this video, we're going to uncover the raw truth behind why high-value men choose to ignore women and the powerful reasons behind it. So buckle up, because by the end of this, you'll have a whole new perspective on the dynamics of attraction. Number one, the Disney deception. Let's kick things off by debunking the Disney deception. Fairy tales and romantic movies have painted a picture where the hero does everything for the princess, traveling oceans, slaying dragons, and fetching treasures. But in reality, this nice guy approach often leads to the friend zone. High value men understand that treating a woman like a princess in every aspect of life can be counterproductive. Instead, they focus on being a high value man, someone who maintains individuality and purpose. Number two, the high value man. The essence of a high value man lies in embodying qualities that set him apart in the dating realm. It's not just about looks or wealth, it's a holistic approach to life. High value men are self-assured, driven individuals who have a clear sense of purpose. They don't rely on external validations, but cultivate a deep understanding of their own worth. Confidence, ambition, and a commitment to personal growth characterize the high value man. He's not just focused on impressing others, but on continuously evolving into the best version of himself. This magnetic energy attracts women who seek more than superficial attributes. They crave a partner with substance, someone who adds value to their lives. As we delve into the world of high-value men, remember that becoming one is a journey of self-discovery and intentional growth. Number three, treating her like a celebrity. Treating a woman like a celebrity might seem like the ultimate show of admiration, but high-value men understand the delicate balance needed in this scenario. Instead of showering constant attention and compliments, they treat her with a blend of respect and a subtle sense of normalcy. High-value men know that creating an atmosphere of unattainability can enhance a woman's attraction. They don't put her on a pedestal, making her feel scrutinized or overwhelmed. Instead, they engage in meaningful conversations, treating her like an individual with interests, opinions, and quirks, rather than an unreachable figure. This approach allows her to feel appreciated for who she genuinely is, fostering a deeper connection based on authenticity rather than a superficial adoration. Number four, holding frame. Holding frame is a skill high value men have mastered to navigate the intricate dance of male-female dynamics. It means establishing a set of values, morals, and boundaries and confidently sticking to them. When faced with challenges or conflicts, high value men don't succumb to emotional turbulence. Instead, they maintain composure, whether it's a subtle test or a more significant disagreement. By not getting entangled in unnecessary arguments or emotional upheavals, they project an image of mental strength and resilience. This steadfastness not only earns respect but also amplifies their attractiveness. It communicates that they are not easily swayed, a quality women find deeply appealing in a partner. Number five, maintaining mystery. Maintaining mystery is a captivating art that high-value men use to keep the flame of attraction burning. They understand that people are naturally drawn to the unknown, and women, in particular, find a sense of mystery intriguing. Rather than laying out their entire life story in the first meeting, high-value men reveal aspects of themselves strategically. This approach keeps women curious and engaged, creating a dynamic where the man becomes a compelling story waiting to unfold. By striking a balance between openness and maintaining an element of unpredictability, high-value men ensure they remain an enigmatic force, fostering a continuous interest that keeps women hooked. Number six, building their future. High-value men are architects of their own destinies. They prioritize their future by setting ambitious goals and pursuing them with unwavering determination. Unlike men who aimlessly drift through life, High-value men have a clear vision of what they want to achieve. This focus not only propels them toward success, but also makes them incredibly attractive to women. 
A man with a plan, goals, and the drive to accomplish them is magnetic. It signals ambition, responsibility, and a commitment to creating a life worth living. This forward-thinking attitude is a beacon for women seeking a partner who not only values himself, but also understands the importance of building a future that extends beyond the present moment. Number 7. Being Selective While many men cast a wide net in the dating pool, high-value men take a more discerning approach. They understand the power of being selective when it comes to choosing a partner. Rather than succumbing to the pressure of dating as many women as possible, high-value men prioritize quality over quantity. They take their time to find a partner who aligns with their values, interests, and long-term goals. This selective nature communicates a serious commitment to the relationship, making them more attractive to high-caliber women. High-value men are willing to be single if it means waiting for the right person, showcasing patience and a refusal to settle for anything less than a meaningful connection. Number 8. Being Direct in a world filled with subtle cues and unspoken messages, high-value men cut through the noise by being direct and honest. They don't engage in mind games or play hard to get, recognizing that such tactics only complicate relationships. Instead, they clearly communicate their intentions from the beginning, fostering a transparent and authentic connection. High-value men understand that genuine interactions are the foundation of strong relationships. By being forthright about their feelings, desires, and expectations, they create an environment of trust and understanding. This direct approach eliminates confusion, aligning both parties on the same page right from the start. It's a strategy that not only saves time, but also positions high-value men as reliable and straightforward partners. Number 9. Prioritizing Self-Care Amid the hustle and bustle of life, high-value men understand the paramount importance of prioritizing self-care. It's not about selfishness, but recognizing that to be the best partner for someone else, they must first take care of themselves. High-value men invest time in their physical, mental, and emotional well-being. This self-sufficiency makes them more appealing to women, as it signifies independence and a commitment to personal growth. High-value men aren't afraid to pursue their interests, hobbies, and passions, ensuring they remain fulfilled as individuals. This dedication to self-care isn't just attractive. It creates a foundation for a healthier, more balanced relationship. It's a reminder that a man who values himself can contribute meaningfully to a partnership. Number 10. Not being women pleasers. Lastly, high-value men are not women pleasers. They understand that constantly trying to please women is not attractive. Instead, they focus on being confident and authentic, which naturally draws women to them. By avoiding the mistake of trying to please women all the time, high-value men maintain their attractiveness and desirability. And there you have it, the raw truth behind why high-value men choose to ignore women. By understanding these 10 reasons, you'll unlock the secrets to becoming a high-value man yourself. If you found this video informative, then don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more valuable insights. Until next time, stay strong and stay true to yourself. Hey there, guys. Ever wonder why some dudes seem to have girls chasing after them while others get overlooked? Today, we're diving deep into the raw truth behind why girls might not be chasing you, and it's not what the movies have led you to believe. Strap in for a journey into the biological secrets and subconscious desires that drive attraction. Number 1. The Disney Deception Let's shatter the illusion created by Disney and romantic movies that might be leading you astray in the real world of dating. Contrary to the charming tales of knights in shining armor, the advice propagated by Disney can often backfire in reality. The conventional wisdom instilled by these stories encourages a narrative where the protagonist does everything for the girl, from traveling oceans to slaying metaphorical dragons and acquiring treasures. However, in the harsh light of reality, 
these actions can often result in finding oneself entrenched in the dreaded friend zone. In essence, the Disney deception advocates for the nice guy approach, where excessive niceness and unrelenting efforts to please the girl can lead to diminished interest. Real-life romance doesn't necessarily follow the script of fairy tales. Instead, it demands a nuanced understanding of attraction dynamics. Breaking free from the Disney deception involves recognizing that treating a girl like a princess in every aspect of life can be counterproductive. It's essential to grasp the importance of being a high-value man, one who doesn't solely revolve around the object of his affection, but maintains a sense of individuality and purpose. So, gentlemen, let's navigate the reality beyond the fairy tales and uncover the true keys to romantic success. Number two, the high-value man. Let's unravel the concept of the high-value man, a crucial aspect often overlooked in the pursuit of romantic success. Contrary to what conventional wisdom might suggest, girls are not seeking someone who bends over backward to meet their every need. Instead, they are naturally drawn to men who exude a sense of unavailability and pursuit of something beyond her. In essence, girls desire a man they perceive as better than them, someone with goals and aspirations that extend beyond the immediate relationship. This triggers a subconscious realization in her mind. The guy she is chasing is engaged in a quest bigger and more significant than her. The allure of unavailability is twofold. It signals to her that the man is not desperate for her attention and, crucially, has other options. This classification as a high-value man ignites the chase dynamic. On the flip side, a man who is consistently available, always willing to invest time and energy, may inadvertently signal desperation. This behavior places him in a lower tier, making it easier for the girl to replace him without much consideration. Understanding the power of being a high-value man involves focusing on personal growth, pursuing individual goals, and creating an air of unavailability. By doing so, you position yourself as a catch worth pursuing, invoking the innate desire in girls to be with someone exceptional. Number three, treating her like a celebrity. There's a profound quote that encapsulates a truth many guys overlook. If you treat her like a celebrity, she'll treat you like a fan. This quote carries a wealth of wisdom about the dynamics of attraction. Yet, numerous individuals, often falling into the nice guy category, miss the mark by showering a girl with excessive attention and admiration. Picture the typical Mr. Nice Guy, eager to showcase his kindness, or the guy incessantly blowing up a girl's DMs on social media. Ironically, these behaviors, meant to express interest, often lead to confusion and frustration. The alpha male, the bad boy, and the jerk, while seemingly in a different league, share a common thread. They focus on themselves. It's time to decipher the code of attraction by understanding that being overly available or excessively nice doesn't set you apart. In fact, it places you in a lower tier in her eyes. The bad boy or alpha male is attractive not because of rudeness, but because they prioritize their needs and values. Treating a girl like a celebrity creates an imbalance in the power dynamic, positioning you as the fan seeking approval. To truly stand out, focus on your own goals and passions and watch as the dynamics of attraction shift in your favor. Number four, holding frame. Now let's dive into the powerful concept of holding frame. In the intricate dance of attraction, holding frame is the secret sauce that sets you apart from the crowd. Imagine a scenario where girls biologically test the men they desire, subconsciously evaluating their masculine strength. This testing often manifests in subtle ways, and one common method is through conflicts. The guy with a strong frame doesn't get entangled in emotional battles. Instead of escalating conflicts, he maintains composure, perhaps laughing off minor provocations or choosing to ignore them altogether. This showcases to the girl that he is a mentally strong individual, unswayed by emotional manipulation. Holding frame extends beyond conflicts. It's about establishing the rules, values, and morals of the interaction. It's the unspoken acceptance of one person's authority 
and others willingly follow suit. This strong masculine frame becomes a magnet for respect and attraction. A guy with a defined frame becomes a beacon of stability and leadership, qualities that resonate deeply with girls on a subconscious level. So, gentlemen, understand that holding frame is not about being domineering. It's about setting the tone for interactions and standing firm in your beliefs. By mastering the art of holding frame, you position yourself as a high-value man, making you more appealing to the opposite sex. Number 5. Maintaining Mystery Now, let's delve into the intriguing concept of maintaining mystery. One of the keys to capturing a girl's attention lies in being a bit of an enigma. Think about it. People are naturally drawn to the unknown. In the realm of dating and attraction, this principle holds true. Instead of laying all your cards on the table, leave a bit of ambiguity. Don't be an open book. Be a captivating story waiting to unfold. When you interact with girls, resist the urge to reveal every detail about yourself. Instead, Focus on drawing them into your world gradually. Share your interests, passions, and experiences strategically, keeping her curious about what lies beneath the surface. It's not about playing games, but about allowing the excitement of discovery to build. This element of mystery adds a layer of allure, making you more intriguing and desirable. Remember, maintaining mystery isn't about being distant or aloof. It's about crafting an aura of intrigue that keeps her engaged. Share parts of yourself at a pace that allows her imagination to run wild. In doing so, you become the puzzle she can't resist solving, and that curiosity can be a powerful catalyst for attraction. So, gentlemen, embrace the art of maintaining mystery, and watch as the allure of the unknown works its magic in the realm of dating. Gentlemen, it's time to unravel the truth behind why girls might not be chasing you. Shift your focus from the Disney-devised playbook and understand the power of unavailability, holding frame, and maintaining mystery. If you found these insights enlightening, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for more game-changing content. Until next time, stay true to yourself and keep chasing your own dreams. Greetings, everyone. Ever been in a situation where a seemingly ordinary encounter takes an unexpected turn, leaving you with an eerie feeling? Today, we're delving into the world of body language and uncovering the alarming signals that can turn a casual interaction into an unsettling experience. Stick around as we explore the fascinating findings of research backed by psychologists and behavior experts. Number one, creepy smiles. Let's dive into the intriguing world of unsettling smiles. The research conducted by the University of Minnesota Utilizing a sophisticated computer-animated 3D facial tool has given us a profound understanding of how different smiles can be perceived. The study participants were presented with photographs of people smiling in various ways and asked to rate them using terms like fake or genuine and creepy or pleasant. What they discovered was fascinating. Smiles that were excessively wide and upturned, especially in a V-shape, were categorized as creepy. The study also pinpointed that the duration of a smile matters. If it doesn't settle in within 125 milliseconds on both sides, it adds an extra layer of discomfort. This enlightening research unveils the complexity of facial expressions and how a seemingly harmless smile can take an unexpected turn, influencing our perceptions and interactions. Moving beyond the research, it's essential to recognize the implications of our own smiles. Being mindful of the width, duration, and overall sincerity of our smiles can make a significant difference in how we are perceived by others. Whether in professional settings or social interactions, understanding the nuances of facial expressions allows us to navigate the fine line between warmth and potential discomfort. So, the next time you flash a smile, consider the subtle cues might be sending an adjust accordingly to foster positive connections. Number two, prolonged gaze. According to a study led by psychologist Nicola Benetti and colleagues, the duration of our gaze can significantly impact the dynamics of social interactions. A typical gaze involves initiating eye contact with another person and then glancing away after approximately 3.3 seconds. 
Benetti's research, however, delves into the territory where gazes become more than just fleeting moments. When the duration of a gaze exceeds or falls short of this 3.3 second window, it can cross into the realm of creepiness. What's particularly intriguing about this phenomenon is that the discomfort associated with prolonged or brief eye contact isn't merely a physiological response. It's deeply rooted in an unspoken social standard. Throughout history, humans seem to have collectively learned and adhered to this standard, much like our innate understanding of appropriate handshake grips or acceptable personal space. Three seconds, it appears, is the sweet spot, an instinctive duration that aligns with what feels right for mutual gaze. Understanding the nuances of eye contact is akin to decoding a silent language woven into our daily interactions. The eyes, often considered the windows to the soul, convey a wealth of emotions and intentions. Prolonged gazes can signify interest, intimacy, or even discomfort, depending on the context. By tuning into these unspoken cues, we gain insights into the subtle dynamics of human connection. So, the next time you find yourself engaged in a conversation, pay attention to the duration of your gaze. It might just be the key to unlocking a dupper and more genuine connection with those around you. Number three, unwanted touch. Now let's delve into the nuanced realm of personal space and the impact of unwanted touch on our social interactions. Picture this scenario. You're at a lively party, surrounded by animated conversations and vibrant music. Amidst the crowd, you find yourself engaged in a one-on-one -on -one conversation with someone you barely know. Suddenly, their gestures begin to cross the boundaries of comfort, leaning in too close and their touch lingering longer than necessary. Psychologist Dr. Ronald Reggio sheds light on the idea that unwanted, excessive, or inappropriate touch can be perceived as downright creepy. The importance of respecting personal boundaries becomes glaringly evident in these instances. Whether it's an unwarranted touch on the arm or the uncomfortable feeling of someone awkwardly stroking certain body parts, these actions can quickly turn a pleasant interaction into an unsettling experience. The language of touch is intricate, and understanding its nuances is crucial in navigating social settings gracefully Vanessa Van Edwards, a leading behavioral investigator, underscores the significance of being aware of personal space, invading personal space. Whether through overly close proximity or inappropriate touch, sends nonverbal signals of discomfort and can create a sense of unease in social interactions. As we traverse the social landscape, it's equally essential to be mindful of our own body language and gestures. The line between friendly and intrusive can be thin, and a heightened awareness of how our actions impact those around us is key. By fostering an environment that respects personal boundaries, we contribute to creating more comfortable and harmonious social interactions. So, the next time you find yourself engaged in conversation, be attuned to the subtleties of personal space and touch, ensuring that your interactions are characterized by respect, consideration, and a shared understanding of comfort levels. Number four, defensive body language. Now, let's explore the intricate world of defensive body language and the profound impact it has on our social interactions. Picture this scenario. You're engrossed in a conversation, but the person you're talking to suddenly turns their torso away, adopting a closed off stance. This nonverbal cue creates an immediate barrier, signaling a sense of disengagement or even a feeling of being unwanted. The defensive stance adds an extra layer to the overall ambiance, fostering uneasiness and potentially creating a disconnect between individuals. Understanding the subtle yet powerful language of defensive body language is crucial for navigating social dynamics. When someone turns their torso away, it conveys a message of self-protection or withdrawal, making the other person feel alienated. This closed-off stance may result from a variety of factors, including discomfort, disagreement, or even fear. Recognizing these cues allows us to decode the unspoken language of the body, enabling us to adapt our communication style and approach to create more open and harmonious interactions. 
As we navigate social spaces, it's equally essential to be mindful of our own body language. A defensive posture unintentionally signals discomfort or a lack of receptivity. Therefore, the next time you find yourself in a conversation, pay attention to your body language. Ensure it reflects openness and engagement, fostering an environment where individuals feel heard and respected. By dismantling the barriers created by defensive body language, we pave the way for more authentic and meaningful connections. Moreover, approaching interactions with empathy and understanding contributes to a positive social atmosphere, encouraging genuine exchanges and building trust. So let's decode the language of the body, break down defensive barriers, and create spaces where everyone feels acknowledged, valued, and connected. Number five, sneering. Let's unravel the enigma of facial expressions and delve into the impact of a sneer on our social interactions. Have you ever encountered a stranger who consistently wears a sneer on their face, paired with a piercing stare that sends a chill down your spine? In the definitive book of body language, expert Alan Pease unravels the significance of a sneer, explaining that it typically involves the curling of the upper lip and narrowing of the eyes. This combination is indicative of confrontational or aggressive expressions, creating an atmosphere of discomfort or even perceived threat. A sneer is a potent non-verbal cue that conveys more than words ever could. It signifies aggression or hostility, instantly creating an air of tension. When someone's upper lip curls and their eyes narrow, it communicates a confrontational stance that can be perceived as a form of intimidation. Recognizing the subtleties of a sneer allows us to navigate social situations with heightened sensitivity. It prompts us to approach interactions with a delicate balance of assertiveness and empathy, especially when faced with expressions that may emanate hostility. Understanding facial expressions, including the impact of a sneer, equips us with a valuable tool for effective communication. It provides insights into the intentions and feelings of those around us, allowing us to adjust our approach accordingly. While a sneer may be a sign of discomfort or hostility, it's also an opportunity to foster understanding. Rather than responding with defensiveness, acknowledging the underlying emotions can open the door to more meaningful conversations. So keep an eye out for those sneers and let's strive to create spaces where genuine understanding and respect prevail, turning potential tension into opportunities for connection. By decoding the language of facial expressions, we embark on a journey towards more authentic and harmonious social interactions. As we navigate the intricate world of body language, let's remember the power it holds in shaping our interactions. Being aware of these signals, both in ourselves and others, empowers us to create respectful and welcoming environments. Share in the comments if you've noticed any creepy body language signals and let's continue this insightful conversation. And before you go, check out our cuddly companion. Sigh the lovable plushie, reminder to prioritize your mental well-being. Link in the description box below. Thanks for joining, and until next time, stay mindful and keep decoding those nonverbal cues. Excitement around you. Body language, often referred to as a secret code, becomes a silent communicator of emotions. As you engage in conversation, keep a keen eye on these preening behaviors. These unspoken signs might just be her way of expressing a desire to impress you. Capturing your attention in a non-verbal dialogue that speaks volumes. Remember, effective communication isn't solely about words. It's about understanding the unspoken cues that reveal what someone truly feels. So, as you navigate the intricacies of social interaction, Decode the language of preening to unveil the hidden depths of her attraction. Number 2. Touch. Now, let's explore the subtle yet powerful language of touch. A silent communicator that can convey emotions more eloquently than words. When someone is attracted to you, touch becomes a bridge that connects two individuals on a deeper level. One significant sign to look out for is the lingering touch, a moment where, after a hug, her hand lingers on your arm or body. This lingering contact isn't merely a physical connection. It's a testament to her reluctance to let go. Expressing a desire for prolonged closeness. 
Take note of the frequency and nature of those little, seemingly unnecessary touches. These delicate actions, whether a light touch on the arm or a brush of the hand, go beyond casual gestures. They're her way of expressing affection, subtly indicating a deeper connection. However, it's crucial to observe if she reserves these touches exclusively for you. If you find that she's more touchy-feely with you compared to others, it becomes a distinctive sign of a special interest. Touch, in its various forms, becomes a powerful communicator of emotions, often unveiling sentiments that words struggle to capture. As you navigate the uncharted waters of nonverbal cues, pay close attention to these physical interactions. They might just be the silent whispers that reveal her true feelings and a desire for a more profound connection. Number 3. Pointing and Leaning. Now, let's unravel the captivating language of the body through the art of pointing and leaning. Two subtle yet profound expressions that convey a woman's genuine interest. Imagine being in a lively group conversation. Observe if her body subtly points towards you. Even when engaged with others. This unconscious behavior is a positive sign, revealing that amidst the crowd. Her attention is naturally drawn towards you. It's as if her body has its own compass, always pointing in your direction indicating a sincere desire for connection. Equally significant is how she leans during your interactions. A slight lean towards you, even if subtle, signifies a subconscious yearning to be closer. It's a nonverbal cue that creates an intimate space between you, showcasing her comfort and attraction. The body, in its eloquence, becomes a storyteller, sharing narratives of unspoken emotions and desires. As you navigate social landscapes, keep a watchful eye on these nonverbal cues. The language of pointing and leaning is like an intimate dialogue between souls, offering valuable insights into her true emotions. The next time you find her body language subtly gravitating towards you, acknowledge it as a silent invitation into her world of feelings, bridging the gap between spoken words and unspoken desires. Number 4. Smiling Eye Dart. Now, let's discuss the smiling eye dart, a small yet revealing sign that often goes unnoticed. Picture this scenario, she glances at you, and the moment you catch her gaze, she quickly looks away with a shy or sheepish smile. This fleeting exchange unintentionally reveals her interest in you. It's as if her eyes couldn't help but seek you out, and the smile that follows is a giveaway of emotions bubbling beneath the surface. The smiling eye dart is a small but significant gesture that speaks volumes about her awareness of you in a crowded space. When someone deliberately seeks you out with their eyes and then shies away with a smile. It's a clear indication that they've been paying attention to you intentionally. Eyes, often considered the windows to the soul, become a canvas where unspoken desires are painted. The next time you catch this subtle smiling eye dart, don't dismiss it as mere coincidence. Instead, interpret it as a potential sign of attraction. Our eyes, in their silent eloquence, reveal a lot about feelings and intentions. So. As you navigate the intricacies of social dynamics, pay heed to these subtle glances. They might be the unintentional reveals of a deeper connection waiting to be explored. Number 5. Laughing at your jokes. Laughter, they say, is the best medicine, but it's also a powerful language of connection. There's a unique joy in having someone who not only appreciates but genuinely enjoys our sense of humor. Even when the jokes might not be the wittiest. If you've noticed that she laughs wholeheartedly at all your jokes, even the corniest ones. It's a clear sign that she finds joy in your company. Laughter, in its essence, is a powerful tool for building connections. When we share laughter with someone, it forms a bond that goes beyond the surface, bringing us closer together. It's not just about the humor itself. It's about the shared experience and the connection she feels with you. The fact that she finds your jokes hilarious indicates a shared sense of humor a foundation for a robust and enjoyable relationship. Moreover, laughter serves as a sign of comfort and relaxation. When she laughs at your jokes, it suggests that she feels at ease around you, creating a positive and warm atmosphere. It's an unspoken invitation to be herself without pretense, showcasing that she feels safe and happy in your presence. Additionally, laughing at your jokes can be her way of seeking validation and attention. Making you laugh becomes a means of gaining your approval an effort to impress you and stand out. In these moments, pay attention to the twinkle in her eyes and the genuine warmth of her laughter. For it might be more than just amusement, it could be the soundtrack to a burgeoning connection. So, as you share these moments of mirth, recognize the deeper implications of shared laughter. 
as it weaves a tapestry of connection that goes beyond words. Number 6. Mirroring. Last but not least, we have mirroring, a fascinating aspect of human interaction. Have you ever noticed her subtly imitating your actions during your interactions? It's not a mere coincidence. It's a powerful indicator of a growing attraction and connection between you two. Mirroring, often referred to as the chameleon effect, is a subconscious behavior where one unconsciously mimics the actions, gestures, or even speech patterns of someone they feel connected to. It's a profound aspect of human interaction, reflecting the deep influence of social bonding and rapport building. When she mirrors your movements, it's not just a surface-level imitation. It's a silent declaration that she's on the same wavelength as you. Our brains are naturally wired to seek familiarity and comfort. And mirroring is a way of creating that sense of unity and shared understanding. It's an unspoken language that communicates, I resonate with you. By imitating your actions. She is building a bridge of understanding and empathy, creating a harmonious atmosphere in your interactions. Recognizing mirroring as a powerful tool in rapport building allows you to appreciate the unique nonverbal dialogue that unfolds between you two. It's like a silent agreement between souls, fostering a connection that transcends spoken words. So, the next time you notice her mirroring your gestures, acknowledge it as a subconscious effort to strengthen the bond. As if your actions are creating an invisible thread that weaves a tapestry of connection between you both. Well that's it for today's video. What do you think of our video? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to hit the like button, and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you in the next video. Bye! Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you couldn't quite decipher if someone was flirting with you or just being friendly? Well, you're not alone. In today's video, we're going to delve into the intriguing world of unspoken signs that reveal a woman's interest in you. So, without further ado, let's explore the subtle cues that could indicate she wants you to herself. Number 1. Preening. Now, let's delve deeper into the fascinating world of preening. The unspoken language of the body that can reveal a woman's hidden attraction. Preening goes beyond mere grooming. It's a subtle dance of gestures that can convey a myriad of emotions. Picture this. During your conversation, she may unconsciously straighten up her posture, signaling a desire to present her best self to you. Watch for those subtle adjustments to her hair or clothing. These seemingly mundane actions can carry profound meaning. If you notice her playing with her jewelry more frequently or for extended periods, it's not just a casual habit. It could be a manifestation of nervous excitement around you. Body language, often referred to as a secret code, becomes a silent communicator of emotions. As you engage in conversation, keep a keen eye on these preening behaviors. These unspoken signs might just be her way of expressing a desire to impress you, capturing your attention in a non-verbal dialogue that speaks volumes. Remember, effective communication isn't solely about words. It's about understanding the unspoken cues that reveal what someone truly feels. So, as you navigate the intricacies of social interaction, decode the language of preening to unveil the hidden depths of her attraction. Number 2. Touch. Now, let's explore the subtle yet powerful language of touch. A silent communicator that can convey emotions more eloquently than words. When someone is attracted to you, touch becomes a bridge that connects two individuals on a deeper level. One significant sign to look out for is the lingering touch, a moment where, after a hug, her hand lingers on your arm or body. This lingering contact isn't merely a physical connection. It's a testament to her reluctance to let go. Expressing a desire for prolonged closeness. Take note of the frequency and nature of those little, seemingly unnecessary touches. These delicate actions, whether a light touch on the arm or a brush of the hand, go beyond casual gestures. They're her way of expressing affection, subtly indicating a deeper connection. However, it's crucial to observe if she reserves these touches exclusively for you. If you find that she's more touchy-feely with you compared to others, it becomes a distinctive sign of a special interest. Touch, in its various forms, becomes a powerful communicator of emotions, often unveiling sentiments that words struggle to capture. As you navigate the uncharted waters of nonverbal cues, pay close attention to these physical interactions. They might just be the silent whispers that reveal her true feelings and a desire for a more profound connection. 
Number 3. Pointing and Leaning. Now, let's unravel the captivating language of the body through the art of pointing and leaning. Two subtle yet profound expressions that convey a woman's genuine interest. Imagine being in a lively group conversation. Observe if her body subtly points towards you. Even when engaged with others. This unconscious behavior is a positive sign, revealing that amidst the crowd, her attention is naturally drawn towards you. It's as if her body has its own compass, always pointing in your direction, indicating a sincere desire for connection. Equally significant is how she leans during your interactions. A slight lean towards you, even if subtle, signifies a subconscious yearning to be closer. It's a nonverbal cue that creates an intimate space between you, showcasing her comfort and attraction. The body, in its eloquence, becomes a storyteller, sharing narratives of unspoken emotions and desires. As you navigate social landscapes, keep a watchful eye on these nonverbal cues. The language of pointing and leaning is like an intimate dialogue between souls, offering valuable insights into her true emotions. The next time you find her body language subtly gravitating towards you, acknowledge it as a silent invitation into her world of feelings, bridging the gap between spoken words and unspoken desires. Number 4. Smiling Eye Dart. Now, let's discuss the smiling eye dart, a small yet revealing sign that often goes unnoticed. Picture this scenario, she glances at you, and the moment you catch her gaze, she quickly looks away with a shy or sheepish smile. This fleeting exchange unintentionally reveals her interest in you. It's as if her eyes couldn't help but seek you out, and the smile that follows is a giveaway of emotions bubbling beneath the surface. The smiling eye dart is a small but significant gesture that speaks volumes about her awareness of you in a crowded space. When someone deliberately seeks you out with their eyes and then shies away with a smile, it's a clear indication that they've been paying attention to you intentionally. Eyes, often considered the windows to the soul, become a canvas where unspoken desires are painted. The next time you catch this subtle smiling eye dart, don't dismiss it as mere coincidence. Instead, interpret it as a potential sign of attraction. Our eyes, in their silent eloquence, reveal a lot about feelings and intentions. So, as you navigate the intricacies of social dynamics, pay heed to these subtle glances. They might be the unintentional reveals of a deeper connection waiting to be explored. Number 5. Laughing at your jokes. Laughter, they say, is the best medicine, but it's also a powerful language of connection. There's a unique joy in having someone who not only appreciates but genuinely enjoys our sense of humor. Even when the jokes might not be the wittiest. If you've noticed that she laughs wholeheartedly at all your jokes, even the corniest ones. It's a clear sign that she finds joy in your company. Laughter, in its essence, is a powerful tool for building connections. When we share laughter with someone, it forms a bond that goes beyond the surface, bringing us closer together. It's not just about the humor itself. It's about the shared experience and the connection she feels with you. The fact that she finds your jokes hilarious indicates a shared sense of humor. A foundation for a robust and enjoyable relationship. Moreover, laughter serves as a sign of comfort and relaxation. When she laughs at your jokes, it suggests that she feels at ease around you, creating a positive and warm atmosphere. It's an unspoken invitation to be herself without pretense, showcasing that she feels safe and happy in your presence. Additionally, laughing at your jokes can be her way of seeking validation and attention. Making you laugh becomes a means of gaining your approval, an effort to impress you and stand out. In these moments, pay attention to the twinkle in her eyes and the genuine warmth of her laughter. For it might be more than just amusement, it could be the soundtrack to a burgeoning connection. So, as you share these moments of mirth, recognize the deeper implications of shared laughter. As it weaves a tapestry of connection that goes beyond words. Number 6. Mirroring. Last but not least, we have mirroring, a fascinating aspect of human interaction. Have you ever noticed her subtly imitating your actions during your interactions? It's not a mere coincidence. It's a powerful indicator of a growing attraction and connection between you two. Mirroring, often referred to as the chameleon effect, is a subconscious behavior where one unconsciously mimics the actions, gestures, or even speech patterns of someone they feel connected to. It's a profound aspect of human interaction, reflecting the deep influence of social bonding and rapport building. When she mirrors your movements, it's not just a surface-level imitation. It's a silent declaration that she's on the same wavelength as you. 
Our brains are naturally wired to seek familiarity and comfort. And mirroring is a way of creating that sense of unity and shared understanding. It's an unspoken language that communicates, I resonate with you. By imitating your actions. She is building a bridge of understanding and empathy, creating a harmonious atmosphere in your interactions. Recognizing mirroring as a powerful tool in rapport building allows you to appreciate the unique nonverbal dialogue that unfolds between you two. It's like a silent agreement between souls, fostering a connection that transcends spoken words. So, the next time you notice her mirroring your gestures, acknowledge it as a subconscious effort to strengthen the bond. As if your actions are creating an invisible thread that weaves a tapestry of connection between you both. Well that's it for today's video. What do you think of our video? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to hit the like button, and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you in the next video. Bye! Hey there gentlemen, ever wish women treated you like kings? Well, you're not alone. In today's video, we're diving deep into the secrets of gaining power over any woman. But hold on, we're not talking about manipulation or mind games. Instead, we're exploring how to earn respect, maintain your dignity, and ultimately become a magnetic force in any relationship. So buckle up and get ready for a whole new perspective on navigating the intricate dance of male-female dynamics. Number one, you are strong or weak. First things first, understanding the subtle tests women put you through. Many might label it as mere craziness, but there's a hidden depth to this behavior that holds the key to unlocking a woman's respect and attraction. When confronted with a woman's sudden icy demeanor or less than friendly treatment, the initial confusion can be overwhelming. However, there's a method to the madness. It's not just random, it's a subconscious test of your inner strength. Consider it a covert evaluation of whether you are a man who stands firm or one who wavers in the face of adversity. In these moments, she becomes a sort of secret tester, examining your reactions with meticulous scrutiny. It's not about lifting physical weights, but about demonstrating a resilience that goes beyond the surface. How you handle her unexpected behavior becomes a grading point for your strength and manliness. The common reaction is often to match her intensity with raised voices or attempts at control, unwittingly falling into the trap she sets. The secret here is not to mirror her negativity, but to stand your ground with composure. If you handle it with grace, her admiration for you can grow exponentially. However, faltering in the face of her tests might result in a decrease in attraction. It's a delicate dance. And understanding that your reactions are pivotal to her perception becomes the key to navigating these hidden challenges. Number two, show her that you have options. Now, let's talk about the importance of showing her you have options. When faced with a woman acting unpredictably, it's not about trying to control her or raising your voice. It's about unveiling a superpower move that sets you apart from the average guy. The ability to show her you've got other options. Picture this. She's testing your mettle, throwing curveballs your way, and you respond not with aggression, but with a confident revelation that you're not afraid to walk away. Whether you've known her for a short time, or you're deeply entrenched in a relationship, this move remains potent. It's not about threatening to leave, it's about conveying that you're strong enough to consider it, if the situation warrants. Now, here's the twist. Many guys hesitate to reveal this strength. They fear that showing a willingness to walk away might scare her off. However, the reality is quite the opposite. When she sees that you won't tolerate bad behavior and have the courage to walk away if needed, it sparks a newfound respect and attraction. So, gentlemen, instead of falling into the trap of reacting aggressively, master the art of subtly showcasing that you have options. It's a strategic play that not only preserves your dignity, but elevates your allure in her eyes. Number three, show her you're totally fine. Let's delve into the intricate art of gracefully handling breakups. It's a common scenario where many guys fumble, making the situation worse and leading to an inevitable split. However, it doesn't have to be that way. 
Picture a scenario where a guy finds himself facing a barrage of tests from the woman he's with. Instead of succumbing to desperation and begging for reconciliation, he takes a different route. He shows her he's totally fine with it. This might sound counterintuitive, but it's a powerful strategy. By demonstrating emotional independence and resilience, you send a potent message. You don't need her to be happy. It's a paradigm shift that can turn the tables in your favor. When a woman perceives that you're not clinging to her, that you're secure in yourself, something fascinating unfolds. She may start missing you and even contemplate getting back together. So, gentlemen, understand that the strongest move is not clinging desperately, but rather showing her that your happiness is not contingent on her presence. In this game of attraction and emotional dynamics, the one who remains emotionally secure often emerges as the victor. It's a subtle yet potent way to turn a breakup into an opportunity for renewed attraction and possibly reconciliation. Number four, she don't want power. Now, let's debunk a prevailing myth. Women don't actually desire to be in control all the time. It's a natural inclination for them to be more drawn to guys they perceive as awesome partners. What they truly seek is someone they view as better than them, a catch worth pursuing. So, gentlemen, resist the urge to believe that women are on a perpetual quest for dominance. In fact, they're attracted to men who exhibit strength, have choices, and aren't afraid to move on if circumstances aren't aligning. In today's landscape, where many guys place an overwhelming focus on women, it's essential to adopt a different mindset. Instead of becoming a treasure hunter for attention, become a treasure by focusing on your own goals and passions. By being a guy with his own exciting life, you naturally become a magnet for respect and attraction. Remember, in the intricate dance of relationships, the one who holds the power is often the person who needs the other less. So, challenge the conventional narrative, gentlemen, and embrace the magic recipe of being a catch who won't settle for anything less than mutual respect and genuine connection. Number five, bouncing back. Now let's delve deeper into the art of bouncing back. If a woman tests you again, don't fret. Consider it a chance to showcase your resilience, even if you don't have immediate alternatives lined up, subtly hinting that you do can work like a charm. It's akin to planting a cool idea in her head, reshaping her perception of you. Women don't necessarily want you to walk away, but they do want the assurance that you could, if you chose to. This subtle play of confidence, even in the face of uncertainty, can reignite any lost attraction. Remember, every test she throws your way is an opportunity to reinforce your strength and desirability. So, whether it's the second or the 20th test, stand your ground, hint at your options, and let the allure of your independence work its magic. Number six, treasure hunters. Now, let's talk about the concept of being a treasure hunter in the world of relationships. When a woman starts acting peculiar, view it as an opportunity to demonstrate your strength and stand out from the crowd of average guys. In a sea of mediocrity, you can be the exception. Many guys fall into the trap of thinking there's only one special person for them, leading to tolerating unacceptable behavior for far too long. Break free from this scarcity mindset. Understand that women are drawn to men with choices, those who don't settle for less. Become a treasure hunter, not for attention, but for mutual respect and genuine connection. By focusing on your goals and passions, you become a beacon of attraction, showcasing that you won't tolerate nonsense. So, gentlemen, flip the script. Show her you can walk away if needed and become the treasure she desires. Someone strong, independent, and deserving of respect. There you have it, gentlemen the art of gaining power over any woman without playing mind games. Remember, women desire strength, independence, and a partner who has choices. Focus on building your own exciting life. Show her you're unafraid to walk away when needed and watch the magic happen. If you found these insights valuable, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more game-changing content. Thanks for tuning in. In the harsh light of reality, these actions can often result in finding oneself entrenched in the dreaded friend zone. In essence, 
the Disney deception advocates for the nice guy approach, where excessive niceness and unrelenting efforts to please the girl can lead to diminished interest. Real-life romance doesn't necessarily follow the script of fairy tales. Instead, it demands a nuanced understanding of attraction dynamics. Breaking free from the Disney deception involves recognizing that treating a girl like a princess in every aspect of life can be counterproductive. It's essential to grasp the importance of being a high-value man, one who doesn't solely revolve around the object of his affection, but maintains a sense of individuality and purpose. So, gentlemen, let's navigate the reality beyond the fairy tales and uncover the true keys to romantic success. Number two, the high-value man. Let's unravel the concept of the high-value man, a crucial aspect often overlooked in the pursuit of romantic success. Contrary to what conventional wisdom might suggest, girls are not seeking someone who bends over backward to meet their every need. Instead, they are naturally drawn to men who exude a sense of unavailability and pursuit of something beyond her. In essence, girls desire a man they perceive as better than them, someone with goals and aspirations that extend beyond the immediate relationship. This triggers a subconscious realization in her mind. The guy she is chasing is engaged in a quest bigger and more significant than her. The allure of unavailability is twofold. It signals to her that the man is not desperate for her attention and, crucially, has other options. This classification as a high-value man ignites the chase dynamic. On the flip side, a man who is consistently available, always willing to invest time and energy, may inadvertently signal desperation. This behavior places him in a lower tier, making it easier for the girl to replace him without much consideration. Understanding the power of being a high-value man involves focusing on personal growth, pursuing individual goals, and creating an air of unavailability. By doing so, you position yourself as a catch worth pursuing, invoking the innate desire in girls to be with someone exceptional. Number three, treating her like a celebrity. There's a profound quote that encapsulates a truth many guys overlook. If you treat her like a celebrity, she'll treat you like a fan. This quote carries a wealth of wisdom about the dynamics of attraction. Yet, numerous individuals, often falling into the nice guy category, miss the mark by showering a girl with excessive attention and admiration. Picture the typical Mr. Nice Guy, eager to showcase his kindness, or the guy incessantly blowing up a girl's DMs on social media. Ironically, these behaviors, meant to express interest, often lead to confusion and frustration. The alpha male, the bad boy, and the jerk, while seemingly in a different league, share a common thread. They focus on themselves. It's time to decipher the code of attraction by understanding that being overly available or excessively nice doesn't set you apart. In fact, it places you in a lower tier in her eyes. The bad boy or alpha male is attractive not because of rudeness, but because they prioritize their needs and values. Treating a girl like a celebrity creates an imbalance in the power dynamic, positioning you as the fan seeking approval. To truly stand out, Focus on your own goals and passions and watch as the dynamics of attraction shift in your favor. Number four, holding frame. Now let's dive into the powerful concept of holding frame. In the intricate dance of attraction, holding frame is the secret sauce that sets you apart from the crowd. Imagine a scenario where girls biologically test the men they desire, subconsciously evaluating their masculine strength. This testing often manifests in subtle ways, and one common method is through conflicts. The guy with a strong frame doesn't get entangled in emotional battles. Instead of escalating conflicts, he maintains composure, perhaps laughing off minor provocations or choosing to ignore them altogether. This showcases to the girl that he is a mentally strong individual, unswayed by emotional manipulation. Holding frame extends beyond conflicts. It's about establishing the rules, values, and morals of the interaction. It's the unspoken acceptance of one person's authority and others willingly follow suit. This strong masculine frame becomes a magnet for respect and attraction. 
A guy with a defined frame becomes a beacon of stability and leadership, qualities that resonate deeply with girls on a subconscious level. So, gentlemen, understand that holding frame is not about being domineering. It's about setting the tone for interactions and standing firm in your beliefs. By mastering the art of holding frame, you position yourself as a high-value man, making you more appealing to the opposite sex. Number 5. Maintaining Mystery Now, let's delve into the intriguing concept of maintaining mystery. One of the keys to capturing a girl's attention lies in being a bit of an enigma. Think about it. People are naturally drawn to the unknown. In the realm of dating and attraction, this principle holds true. Instead of laying all your cards on the table, leave a bit of ambiguity. Don't be an open book. Be a captivating story waiting to unfold. When you interact with girls, resist the urge to reveal every detail about yourself. Instead, focus on drawing them into your world gradually. Share your interests, passions, and experiences strategically, keeping her curious about what lies beneath the surface. It's not about playing games, but about allowing the excitement of discovery to build. This element of mystery adds a layer of allure, making you more intriguing and desirable. Remember, maintaining mystery isn't about being distant or aloof. It's about crafting an aura of intrigue that keeps her engaged. Share parts of yourself at a pace that allows her imagination to run wild. In doing so, you become the puzzle she can't resist solving, and that curiosity can be a powerful catalyst for attraction. So, gentlemen, embrace the art of maintaining mystery and watch as the allure of the unknown works its magic in the realm of dating. Gentlemen, it's time to unravel the truth behind why girls might not be chasing you. Shift your focus from the Disney-devised playbook and understand the power of unavailability, holding frame, and maintaining mystery. If you found these insights enlightening, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for more game-changing content. Until next time, stay true to yourself and keep chasing your own dreams.